Hi, so sometimes you ask if it's possible to enable the developer mode and access to the green menu with something other than VCDS, VCP or OBD11 and so on. So over here I have a Carista dongle, which is a fairly cheap and high quality um, device. And over here on my phone, let me just connect this. Over here on my phone, I have the car scanner application. Let me just start the screen recording. So um, over here on the left side I have uh, I have selected the vehicle profile that I've created um, earlier and in settings I can confirm that, that the connection profile is matching the vehicle. So it's an Audi on the MQB platform with this kind of engine. Engine in this case will not be that um, uh, that important because we are not going to interact with it, but we are going to interact with the MMI mine unit, which is in the glove box. It's called the multimedia over here. One other thing that I have set up over here, but I'm not sure if it's required, but still I'm going to show you. If you go down to information, to info screen, there's a um, box that you can tick. It's uh, labeled as show experimental features and I have this enabled. Maybe that's something that you need to have this uh, working. Okay, so we are on this screen. I have the dongle connected. So right now let's press connect and give it about 10 seconds. After those 10 seconds we will uh, have all the, uh, all the features available for this vehicle. And right now we can see that it's connected. We have the VIN and the OBD2 protocol visible over here. So let's go to coding and service, the last, uh, last icon over here. Let's confirm that we agree with the risks and warnings. Let's... Oh, sorry let's scroll down to multimedia and in multimedia we are looking for the developer menu so let's use the search bar over here dev multimedia developer mode activation let's go over here it's checking how it's set up um, at this moment it's currently not active so we are we are going to uh, press the active button and right now it's going to activated. So this is the part that you would normally do with OBD11 or VCP or VCDS. And as you can see, if you have the car scanner application and a cheap dongle, you can apply the new value um, uh, from this application without the previously mentioned apps. Okay, so right now it should be active. So let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, let's disconnect from the vehicle and I believe at this point we don't need the we don't need the phone anymore and we need to reboot the unit so in Audi you need a button combination and in Volkswagen Seat and Skoda you need to press and hold the volume knob for about 10 seconds and over here we need to push this forward push this forward and press the knob so one two three and the unit is rebooting right now we need to give it about 20 or 30 seconds to be uh, up again it will be loading and we will see the um, we will see the user interface but the applications uh, behind the user interface are still loading so we have radio or maybe reverse camera navigation is still loading and so on and let's use the button combination for the green menu right now which should be uh, available i believe this forward this forward and keep them in this position for uh, for um, one Mississippi so one Mississippi and we can see that the green menu well just in time it's loaded okay so you can see that you can use uh, car scanner application with the um, Elm 327 OBD2 dongle to enable the developer mode without VCDS without OBD11 without VCP this is just that simple. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon.